What's, What's up, up YouTube? YouTube? Welcome back to our channel. It's the Choose here from Choose to Explore, where we teach you guys how to see the world and save a dollar. So, as you can see, we're not on our honeymoon anymore. We actually have been back for a couple of weeks and we've just been uploading content. So far, we've shown you the first week out of our three weeks in Southeast Asia on our honeymoon. And that's included footage from Singapore and Malaysia. So if you haven't seen that yet, check out those videos to see how we were seeing the world and saving a dollar out there. It's all linked in the description. First thing I wanna say is thank you guys, all you guys who have been watching our channel and who have been subscribing. We've been getting a ton of new subscribers and we're greatly appreciative of it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? <laughs> So we like to be very transparent with you all, and even though we're sharing a lot of highlights from our honeymoon, everything didn't go quite as planned. So really our trouble started our very first day. So we flew with Singapore Airlines and it had a stopover in Germany, Frankfurt, right? Yes. And we had 12 hours, so we wanted to get out and explore. Now I just bought my Mavic Mini Pro 3 drone, and I was so hyped to use it. But to be honest, I really don't fly a lot in cities because there's a lot of buildings. Speaking of buildings, I was flying, I wasn't really close to my drone, and I crashed into the tallest building in Germany. Well, I thought it was the tallest building in Germany, but really I had no idea, because the drone was on his back and all I saw was grass on the floor. And thank God my drone has GPS services because I could track a rough estimate of where it was. But one thing about Germany, a lot of the tall buildings are office buildings. So I couldn't get all the way up to the top to try to see where my drone was. Plus it was like four o'clock and we were leaving out at like seven o'clock. So after some time, we realized it would be nearly impossible to find my drone. Now the drone was important, but really the memory card was even more important, especially to me, because we had some footage of behind the scenes of our wedding day. And of course, all that we experienced in Germany from that day, we were gonna make a vlog, but you know. That's why we don't have a vlog from Germany or I know I promised you guys that we were gonna have a wedding <laughs> vlog. I did make it, I'm telling you, I did make it, but. You did record it. Yes, I did record it, but it's on a rooftop in Germany right now. <laughs> Potentially, I don't know. <laughs> so we were able to find some employees who worked at the building. They were taking a break outside, and so we got into contact with them. So unfortunately, they did not have access to the rooftop that we believed our drone would be on, but we kept their contact information just in case. So I made arrangements for him to try to go in the morning to try to find the drone. But obviously, we were flying out to Singapore that night, so there was really no way we could just wait and see if we could get the drone. But honestly, our honeymoon was so much more important than just the drone, so the show must go on. So at this time, I was droneless, but I was not hopeless. <laughs> so while we were walking, we actually did see a DJI store, and I decided, you know, sometimes the money is not as important as the memories. So I know I see the world and save a dollar, but in Germany, I went and I bought another drone. Now, this was the lowest DJI drone, and this really shows you guys, when you see my footage with the drone, it's not the best drone that I had. This was actually their beginner, beginner drone. So I'll tell you guys, if you guys are trying to get into content creation, it's not about the equipment, it's really how you use it. And now I had a drone, it was secured, and we flew to Singapore. So now we're in Singapore and we're exploring Gardens by the Bay and we get a call and it's our guy. He found the drone. Yes, he called me <laughs> and listen, I have T-Mobile so I'm able to, um, to call and text internationally, but it's really spotty. So I got a call and it was like, <laughs> and I could not know what he said, but he was yelling. So I was like, I hope he has my drone. I hope he's not yelling at me he got in trouble, but Basically, he found my drone and he said he was going to hold it for me. So right now I'm overjoyed because what are the possibilities that the one guy we met was able to find our drone in Germany? Thank God. Yes, we Thank found the God. building, we found the person, we found the drone. And he recovered it for us. Mission secured. So we got married in June. So this was about two months ago now. Um, he works at probably a very busy job, I guess, because we still don't have the drone or the memory card, at least, you know, so. If you guys see this, actually, don't blow them up because wow. I really want to make sure that we get this drone and more importantly, the memory card. So we're waiting on it. When we get it, you guys will get the footage and I apologize about that. So like we said, our first layover was in Germany and then our second layover was in Singapore. 
And from Singapore, our plan was to fly to Vietnam where we had a plan to stay there for seven whole days. So if you guys have been subscribed to my channel or you know me personally, then you know Vietnam has been a bucket list destination for me for a very long time. And it's really because it's combination of affordability, culture, people, and sites that really drew me there. So I was so excited to get to Vietnam. And so was I. But we get to the airport ready to check into our flight and we find out that as Americans, we did need pre-approval for our visas into Vietnam, which we did not have. We kind of overlooked that very important detail. <laughs> But as an American citizen, we are truly blessed and privileged to be able to get into so many countries visa free or with a visa on arrival. To be honest, it was something that I just kind of overlooked, but um, in hindsight, we shouldn't have did that. So we rebooked our flight to Vietnam for three days later since our approval should take about three days. And this was one of our first real tests as a married couple because while we could have been there pointing fingers, bickering and arguing with each other, it really drew us together because we decided as a team that we were gonna figure out what our next move will be. So this is when I really got on my grind. I opened up my laptop, put on my headphones, put on my hype music, shook my head, did some jumping jacks, and we had to get back to business. So our first thing was to see how expensive it was to stay in Singapore. And it was expensive. So even a stay at the Galaxy Pods was over $150, so. <laughs> so. So we decided that was not gonna happen. But we saw a relatively cheap flight to go to Malaysia for under $80 per person. And we then found an Airbnb for like $32. So we said, we're gonna go to Malaysia. And thank the Lord that I convinced my wife to travel <laughs> with a book bag because all of these new connecting flights, if you had to pay for luggage as well, it was just as much as the flights. So it doesn't make sense to get cheap flights if you're gonna have to pay for luggage. So we landed in Malaysia that same night and we spent a couple of days there, had a great time, and then we had a bus back to Singapore so we'd be able to catch our flight. Now the bus was very comfortable, but there were some issues at customs. <laughs> So pretty much in my passport picture, my hair is curly and when I was going through customs, I wore my hair braided to the side, which I guess was just enough for them to not think I was the same person in my passport photo. Traveling while black. <laughs> also on our vaccine cards, we don't have our passport number listed on the vaccine card, which isn't something that I don't think we typically do in America, I don't but think so. yeah. no, but it's something that they were looking to verify in Malaysia heading to Singapore on the border. So basically they took us to a back office to get some more verification, took some time, but thankfully we made it through. They realized it was us yes. <laughs> and our bus did not leave us. <laughs> <laughs> so we do make it back to Singapore safely and we're in the world's greatest airport, Changi Airport. We get there on Saturday morning. And this is when we start getting a little wary as time is closer and closer because we thought our visas would be here and they really haven't arrived yet. We haven't gotten any updates either. Yes, and that's when we realize whoever approves the visas does not work on the weekends. <laughs> we didn't read the fine print. And we didn't really think that through. Had we, we would have spent way more time in Malaysia because it was an amazing destination. I really loved it and it really surprised me. And as my subscribers last told me in my last video, there is so many things to do in Malaysia that we just didn't have the time to because we had to get back to Singapore to catch our next flight. So it was still early in the day when we found out that we didn't have our Vietnam visas and we weren't gonna get them that day. So again, we weren't gonna stay in Singapore because even though it's an amazing country, we didn't plan to spend that much money at that time. Especially because we lost all our money for our flights to Vietnam, our rebooking, our hotel, and our activities that we had planned in Vietnam. Yeah. Yes, so we searched for the next cheapest flight out of Singapore to our next Southeast Asia destination that we're going to be posting next week. <laughs> so, where do you guys think we ended up? Yes. Did we ever make it to Vietnam? <laughs> Stay tuned guys, but thank you guys so much. If you guys have watched it here, thank you for even paying attention to us because I know this is a long story, but we have a ton of great content coming your way from our honeymoon. And even after our honeymoon, we have so much great content coming your way guys. So please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, 
and let us know how you guys feel, okay? See you on the next one.